Hi everyone, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to do your daily messages for today, Tuesday the 14th, and Wednesday the 15th. This is going to cover because it's pretty late in the day and I just couldn't do this for you guys earlier. So for the next two days, if it resonates, awesome. If it doesn't, guys, definitely check out the ones that I have posted over on Instagram. The link will be in the description box. I'm using the vice versa. Double-sided cards. For the collective spirit. All my subscribers. August 14th. August 15th, 2018. Can't get these cards to move here. Central issue is the magician. So I do flip these as if they had backs. It's just the way I've always done it. The Eight of Wands on the reverse-ish side. Two of Swords, the reverse side. The Strength card on the reverse side. And the Ace of Swords on the reverse side. Okay, so let, let's start here. So this is the non-traditional side of the Eight of Wands. You know, this is turbulent, rocky, shocking communication coming in, or maybe lack thereof, because I feel like in the recent past with the Two of Swords, you know, you're finally seeing things as they really are. You know, in regards to maybe an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And you do have Leo showing up here. So what I'm feeling here is that there's just a lack of communication. You know, delays with travel. This could even be a canceled trip cancel trip but you're gaining clarity you know you're you're no longer confused i mean really just look at that moon right stunning you know and, and it, it, it's highlighting everything for you and i feel like this is about you know trying to find the strength the courage to communicate with someone it could even be internet communication. But there's also some sort of decision that you're making. You know, both of these cards are about truth, clarity. You know, and also it's about taking off. You know, what's interesting is that if you if you take flight and you take off, you're going to end up in turbulence, unfortunately. But, you know, I feel like maybe more towards the end of the week like you're going to you're going to do the you're going to have the courage to do what you need to do you don't have it right now but i feel like that is definitely moving past you you know you have the magician as your central issue you know this is incredible you're absolutely manifesting something whether it's personal or professional, it doesn't matter. You're manifesting whatever it is 
that you need to do. You absolutely know that you've been in a cycle or at least you continue to be in a, a cycle of manifestation. You know, and the Ace of Swords is mostly about clarity, communication. You know, it's also a physical manifestation card. It's about thinking, speaking, being clear. Same thing with the Magician. Although the ma Magician makes shit happen, right? Out of nowhere. So I feel like you are dealing with an air sign that's literally going to cut through the bullshit. They are brutally honest. And it's probably exactly exactly what you need right now. And I say that because you just don't have the courage. And what's very interesting is you have... You know, you have the cycle here. With the, with the infinity symbol. Actually, huh, I almost missed that. You guys are probably thinking, dumb bitch. <laughs> you have it in both cards. That's what's very, that's interesting. You have it in both cards. You know, some of you literally have the devil in your space. As really, so if you're dealing with a Leo, you're dealing with a Leo that you don't like. And I feel like if you've been in a long cycle with them, the magician is the new beginning. This is your new beginning. You know, this side is planning, this is doing. And I feel like your wishes and dreams are coming to fruition. Big time. You know, this would be your traditional side of the strength card, right? This side you have to go by what the card shows in this card. And it clearly shows, guys, that, you know, some of you are in a negative cycle with a Leo. Or you have Leo in your chart. And, and you're in a negative cycle. And you do need to break out of that. And the only way to do that is to get the courage and the strength and go for what it is that you want to go for, which is your wishes, your dreams. Speak your truth. Say what you need to say. I do feel like some of you have a Leo getting in your way. Getting in the way of you communicating with someone. But listen, get on a plane. Do what you have to do. Go talk to whoever you need to talk to. You have two major cycles here. And then two flight indicators. Pick time. Travel. Flight. Take off. Take off. Go. Go do what you need to do. Go communicate with someone. Cut through the crap. No more confusion. You're done. I love it. It's a great reading. And I feel like there's so much hope here. Like a real lot of hope. You know, and, you know, this could play out over the next week or so. You do have two major arcana cards here. Let's clarify it. I'm going to use the gilded. I want to go right to this eight of wands. You have somebody getting in the way. I, I feel it. You you do. I think it's a Leo. I definitely this one wants to come. Okay, let's see what we got here first. Amazing. You do. You have a Leo getting in the way of your love life or communicating with someone that you care about. This Leo is emotionally draining you. 
They're dragging something on. You're trying to get out of this negative cycle. You're trying to get out of it, but unfortunately you can't because you don't have enough strength or courage to do it right now. Let's see the magician. Wow. Wishes and dreams. What did I say? Wishing upon a star. Getting everything that you want. Literally, guys. Getting everything that you want. But because the strength card and the eight of wands, unfortunately, it is delayed. Briefly. But if you do get everything that you want, make sure it is exactly what you want. You know, I feel like some of you are being a dreamer about it all. I really do. Guys, don't let this Leo I feel like because this Leo is in the way that's the communication thing. Like you have two big communication cards. And if it's turbulence right now, it, it, it is moving away. You know, but in, in the in in the future, it isn't. You know, you have all this clarity, but no courage. Let's look at this strength card. Um Yeah, the strength card. You uh, you do have your wishes and dreams coming true right here. You you need to get rid of a Leo. Knight of Swords. Well, wow. okay. You did not have the courage before, but you do now. Or you will in the future. Even though this is a clarifier, it's still fast-paced movement. You have Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Leo in your midst. Let me look at the Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles reversed, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You're just, you're not moving forward, being stubborn or someone else's. You need to communicate with an earth sign. I feel like they're closed off, but you're absolutely going to try to get to them. Let me see strength again. Five of Cups. All right, so you still have a Leo here. There's regret and loss regarding a Leo. And their influence regarding this situation. Let me see this Ace of Swords again. All right, well, the Sun card just flew out. 
It's in the reverse, but the Wheel of Fortune comes first. I feel like some of you are trying to communicate with someone and are having interference issues. Others of you are closed off. And then I'm looking at an Earth sign energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, that's closed off. And you need to break through somehow. And I feel like you're definitely dealing with air, Libra Gemini Aquarius, or Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Listen, guys, you could absolutely make shit happen. Whether, you know, no matter what it is. Even if this is career, you know, still dealing with the same signs. You're the one with all the power. You're the one that could make your dreams come true. Or you can make someone else's dreams come true, vice versa. Someone can do that for you. But you have got to speak up and let them know what you're thinking, how you're feeling, especially if this is love, for sure. Definitely. Okay, guys. Always speak your truth. That's what's going to bring you to here. You could make this happen. Great reading, really. Guys, Again, if it didn't resonate, please check out the ones that I post over on Instagram per element. You guys will love them. I hope you guys have a beautiful two days. And I will see you guys back here very, very shortly. Till then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.